You know, we're telling you all the time about how much fun we have that never makes TV. We, you're not going to believe it until you visit us <laughs> in Historic Studio D. All you have to do to book your seats is visit WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page or give us a call, 443-880-9116. So the new Performing Arts Center in Ocean City may have just opened, but it's already attracting some big time performances. And this weekend, the Ballet Theater of Maryland will hold two performances of Cinderella the Ballet at the newly renovated facility. Del Marva Life's Sean Stryker joins us now from the Performing Arts Center. And Sean, we hear this ballet is a pretty big deal. Jimmy and Lisa, it's a huge deal. It just goes to show you that it's not only the warm summer months that are bringing people to Ocean City. I'm here with Larry Nacolino and Lisa out in Stanton. Now, Larry, I want to start things off with you. You're the executive director here at the convention center. Does it surprise you that you're already attracting these big time performances? I think if you would ask me that question back in June, I would have said no. But now that I've seen a finished product, it's just, um, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. This, uh, this convention center and this performing arts center has undergone quite the renovation. It's beautiful in here, and you're bringing in more performances coming up later this year. Yeah, later this year, uh, starting sometime in May, uh, when we'll have uh, the doo-wop project, and just too many to name. I'm real excited about getting Hal Holbrook as Mark Twain, and three tenors and a diva, and that just names a few. There's many, many more. And that's getting started this weekend, getting kicked off this weekend with the performance of Cinderella. Uh, Lisa, I want to talk to you about Cinderella. Now, you played a huge role in bringing the ballet to the area for the past five years. How are things shaping up this year? Wonderfully. The Worcester County Library Foundation has brought the ballet to Worcester County for the past five years, uh, along with support from the Worcester County Arts Council. And this year we've moved it to the new Performing Arts Center, and the response has been completely overwhelming. We sold out the 2 p.m. show. Um, a couple months back and so we added another show and we think that that's probably going to sell out as well in the next couple of days. So Now it's a whole event, it's a whole day of activities and you, in between the two shows you're going to be auctioning off these paintings. I want to show you guys these paintings over here. They are beautiful. You use them on the posters. Who painted them? Our local artist Michael Carmine painted these one-of-a-kind paintings and they'll, they'll be um, available for silent auction at the um, ballet and then we have prints available um, there as well uh, during the intermission and um, before and after the performances. So when is the performance? Tell the people at home the dates. Uh, it's Saturday, March 7th, 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. And there's still a few tickets left for the 7 p.m. performance. Yeah, the 2 p.m. performance is sold out. We want you guys to know that. And the 7 p.m. one is selling out quick. So if you want to get tickets, don't wait much longer. And get this. It's really cool for all you little girls or guys at home. You get to meet Cinderella in between the two performances. So if you have a little guy or gal at home, you want to bring them out to meet Cinderella. I know that will be cool. Jimmy and Lisa, I'm going to send it back to you guys. I want to meet Cinderella. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, I haven't been inside. Have you been inside? I yet? have it, but I am going to get there very soon. Place. Thank you for watching Delmarva Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow when we focus on helping you get a good night's rest. There are so many people who aren't getting enough sleep that the government has dubbed the problem a public health epidemic. Find out who seems to have the most trouble getting their Z's and what can be done about it. Did you know you can actually injure yourself while sleeping? Find out what sleeping positions can do the most harm on your spine and your joints. With daylight saving time this weekend, losing one hour of sleep can really put a wrench in your schedule. Find out how to make it through while giving your body the rest it needs. We're also taking a look at your kids' sleeping habits. Some of the numbers may surprise you. Maybe you can't sleep because you can't disconnect from your gadgets. You might find this ironic, but there's an app that can help you break your addiction. <laughs> we'll learn about them. Plus, we're in the Dumb Arbor Life kitchen making something you'll definitely want to be awake for. Just wait and see. In Del Marva Life, life at its best here on Del Marva. Don't go anywhere. WBOC News at 6 starts right now.